asked, uh, Judy asked, people have been complaining about more EMF sensitivity, uh, sensitivity or EMF related uh, symptoms after having fiber optic installed in their home. Um, I recall an article from EMF analysis, uh, Jeremy Johnson, who is a, a very nice EMF mitigation specialist. I think he still lives in Thailand. I've been out of touch for a few years, but he was really, you know, his website is still top and has great blog articles, EMF analysis. Do you, have you come across any cases of this fiber optics problem where it could be mitigated or is it something that you think deserves more attention when people get fiber optics installed? Could it be a problem when it comes to EMFs? The fiber optic technology itself is not the problem. It, it has to do with the, with the conversion of the, the light signal in cause, cause fiber optics is light and that's why it's so yep. fast. It's, it's a, uh, it's high speed internet. It's, it's a uh, gigabyte speeds and it's, it goes in the neighborhood. It's, it uses light and fiber optics to actually send the signal. So there's no electrical signal. It's all light signals that are enclosed within the cable. So there's really no exposure there at all from the fiber optic itself. What happens is in some neighborhoods, um, some, some neighbor, there's two things. In some neighborhoods, they're installing, in addition to fiber optics, they're installing neighborhood Wi-Fi routers that are creating neighborhood Wi-Fi signals. And so when they install the fiber optics, these new signals come up and it's the Wi-Fi signal that's causing the problem for, for some mm -hmm. people. The okay. second issue is that sometimes when the fiber optics go into the house, there's another unit that converts the light signals into an electrical signal that's usable for your computer. And with that conversion process, sometimes that creates dirty electricity for the person. But there, there's some uh, companies that use a clean conversion tool like device and others that use a very dirty one that cause problems for people. Now we haven't delineated which companies are which or what the issue is with with these uh, with these basically fiber optic modems, but that's the key issue for some people is that is that the it's creating some kind of dirty electricity for them with that conversion from the fiber optic to the usable electrical signal for the for the internet in their home. Yeah, and it, the industry is. I don't know if I can say completely unregulated on this, but unless it will really cause a massive interference with other electrical systems, they will ignore it. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, you know, I am the co-creator of the EMF circle along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our circle members. Every month we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q and A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a cars master class. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.